Hello friends, the other day I was in a camera fair and I found this lens, this little lens, just let me take it out. And as you can see, I'm not working on my typical workspace because the lens is actually too big. Let me just show it. It's a thousand millimeter f10 mirror lens. Manufacturer seems to be MCMTO. The only thing I know this is Russian and if you have any information about it I will be glad to hear it in the comments and then okay so I got it I didn't pay a lot because in the camera fair I passed in the morning it was some price then when I came back at noon it was about half price and towards the end of the day it was a third of it so and the guy well it was actually a lady she didn't want to go home with it so I offer a price that was even lower than what she was asking for and she accepted immediately she re didn't really wanted to take it home so I got this huge lens as you can see uh, this is my hand uh, and this is the lens it is quite heavy it is 2.3 which is something yeah this is something you don't carry around for a long time or I just start feeling it I'm holding it with my with my hand and I already feel it here on my forearm that is reloading my arm otherwise interesting lens has a huge hood so you don't or you won't have any ghosting like every mirror lens the aperture is fixed so you will have only f10 it has a focusing which is really smooth even though yeah you have to put this thing on a tripod because I'm holding it and rotating it it requires quite some effort minimum distance seems to be 8 meters so this is something you won't be able to use indoors but the reason I got this lens well besides having a really long focal length it it is because it has an M42 mount which is well it sets the time of the lens so it's somewhere about around the 70s that the M42 mount was really popular and yeah that I can use today in my mirrorless camera using a standard adapter so and this is what we're going to do now we're going to take some pictures with this lens so what I'm going to do is just to show you before how the objects look like a standard distance let's say 50 millimeters which is about what we see with our eyes and then you will see the magnification you get with this and I'm not promising incredible image quality because we are talking about a mirror lens and as we know all mirror lenses don't have incredible image quality or contrast but it's a really fun lens you want to see stuff really far away and I think if you handle yourself well in photo editing you can get something really good out of it and you don't need to get really close to your subject so let's go for the images First of all, I took a photo with a 50 millimeters. This is what it looks like. And now if we put the 1000 millimeters, this is what we get. And then it doesn't look really bad. I change a bit the contrast and the result is very satisfying. If we go back to the image and take a second zoom, uh, we can see another part of the image and we can see a lot of fine details if we zoom into the image we'll see that the details are not so sharp 
but nevertheless results are rather good in my opinion then i made exactly the same exercise outside i took an image with the 15 millimeters this is the one you are seeing right now and afterwards i took different images with the thousand millimeters and i challenge you to find the images within the image made with the 50 millimeters and what i can say here is that even though the thousand millimeters is not super sharp is not super contrasty we can see that it's very usable in taking images of things that are far away and we have images that are totally acceptable and working then a bit with some photo editor it doesn't need to be anything really evolved we can get really 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 good and nice results and just to finish and for fun i try to do something a bit more artistic with the thousand millimeters and these are the images we get and what i really like is that this lack of sharpness that everyone seems to crave in these days is giving well at least for me is given this vintage look that for me is very pleasing to the eye another advantage of this lens in comparison to other super zooms is that this lens is extremely affordable we are talking about maximum 300 dollars and with that i finished this video thanks for watching and see you next time